Randy Schoenberg. I am a volunteer curator on Genie.com. Genie has about 150 volunteer curators who are just regular users like me that have been given the ability to help other users. Today I've been asked to complete a merge for someone and I thought I'd use this as an example so I can show people how you do merges on Genie. Uh, when you're building your family tree, sometimes you'll have uh, cousins marry cousins and you'll need to have the, the two profiles become one so that you aren't duplicating the tree. Uh, but more often than not, a merger occurs when you find that someone else has entered in part of your tree. Uh, the idea on Genie is that each person gets just one profile. So we don't like duplicates, we like to merge them together. That joins the trees together and, uh, and that's the way the big tree grows. The big tree currently has over 96 million profiles and will probably hit 100 million sometime early next year in 2016. So anyway, let me show you how you merge a profile on Genie. Uh, I have an example set up here. So I was asked about this tree, actually there are two trees related to uh, Ezra Alchman and there's a, a pending merge already and I'll show you that. You can see that blue circle with a little plus symbol in it. That means someone has initiated but not completed a merge. Uh, but before we get to that, look at this blue circle here on Ezra Alchman. This is what you want to see when you're building your tree on Genie. When you go hover over it, it gives you three rectangles. The one on the left, if it turns blue, that means there's a tree match which is potentially an identical profile on Genie that you want to merge together. The other two rectangles, which aren't highlighted here, can either be yellow, the middle one, or green, the one on the right. Those are record matches and smart matches with trees on MyHeritage. You have to have a MyHeritage subscription to access those. But right now we're working just on Genie and we have a blue tree match. Let me click on that and show you what it looks like. When I click on it, it loads up and shows me the two profiles. This one is entered by Sergio Skolnik and then Nelson Kupchik entered the other one. You can see there's a little bit of a difference. They call his wife, one calls her Maria, the other Gelia, uh, but the last name seems to be the same. Here he has it in the wrong field, Prokovnik, and here it is down here in the last name field for the wife. And the children are the same, Jeanette Alkman and Arlette Alkman. Now I've been asked to complete this, so I'm going to assume these are correct. Uh, the way you would merge these, if you follow the blue button, is you would say compare profile like this and it gives you another screen that compares the two profiles and asks you if you want to merge them. And you can say yes, merge these profiles. Before I get to that, I want to show you other ways that you can initiate the merge and then I'll show you how you complete the merge. So let's go over here. Um, here we have again the link to the two trees and I can go to one of them. Let me show you a couple of different ways the merges can come about. One is, let's say, I'm going to add a, a duplicate of Ezra here as a brother, okay? And so now he'll have, there'll be two profiles here on this page that need to be merged into one. So there are two ways uh, to initiate a merge. One is if you uh, press the command button uh, or the clover button on a Mac, a command button, um, you can move around here. I think it's command, let's see. Yes, if you press the command button and then click on it, you can move it over to anywhere else on the screen. You see that? So if you move, again, I press the command button, it sort of highlights everything, and then I click on Ezra, and I can drag him over, and I could drag him over here onto Ezra, I let go, and then it asks me, how is Ezra related? Is he the father, husband, or partner, brother, or son? Or are they the same person? In this case, they would be the same person. You could click on that and initiate the merge that way. So if I clicked on that, see I get this comparison screen and I can merge these profiles. And it'll move them and merge them into one. Now I go to his profile. I can click then to view his tree and I'll be back at that same spot I was before. Let me do it a different way for you. Let me add again another Ezra so we can do this example. I'll show you all these different ways of merging on Genie. It's a very powerful tool, but sometimes very hard to learn how to use it. So one was just to press the command button and then drag. That's a good one. Um, another way is to click on it 
And you see you get this menu down here where you can add to a profile. Whoops. Where it says more, you can click on move. When you click on move, it creates a copy of the profile here in the corner. You see that in the upper right corner there? So that then can be dragged over here, right, onto Ezra. Okay, and I can drag it there and initiate the merge. You can navigate to different screens uh, like this and do a whole bunch of things. So here they are initiating the merge on those two. Now let me go back and show you. Now we're going to merge the two that were in different trees. Okay, uh, I could do that by clicking on Jeanette here, but I'm, I'm going to do it and keep it on the way I was before. So remember with Ezra, I had those two, uh, that, in, that blue box that initiated the merge, and here we are back at it again, and I'm going to merge these profiles. Now I'm pushing them together, that means they're these two separate versions of Ezra are going to be one, and now we have to deal with the fact that we have duplicates of all the kids. You see that here, Jeanette, Arlette, Jeanette, Arlette. So we're going to go click on Ezra again and look at his tree. And you'll see now that there's going to be a yellow triangle on Ezra. You see this? That means there's a potential conflict in this tree that needs to be resolved. So the easiest way to resolve it is to click on the yellow triangle. And it'll take you through a script to merge related profiles that are around it. So someone had already initiated that Jeanette merge, so I'm going to initiate that. Uh, and you can go on like this. It'll take you through all the profiles that potentially need to be merged. And you'll see now it gives me a screen where I can put, the, put them together. It says which people are the same, right? Drag and drop the duplicates onto each other. So I know Arlette is the same as Arlette. The, the mother, here it has a different name, but I'm assuming they're the same. So I'm going to put them together and we can resolve the conflict between the two managers of that profile later. So I put that again, so I move this onto here and then I say move, merge du duplicates and it then gives me the screen for Arlette. Arlette is the same as Arlette, so I'm going to merge that. And all these managers will now be co-managers of this profile. So I'm going to merge Maria and Gelia and then maybe I'll contact them and say, okay, what's, what's really her name? Again, I've been asked to merge this tree so that's why I'm going ahead even if the, the names are different here. But usually you only merge when they're the same. Okay, now there's nothing else to merge here. Arlette and Jeanette are different. So I'm going to still click on Merge Duplicates. Then it says No Duplicates Selected. Would you like to assign parents? Yes, let's assign the parents. Sometimes you have to click through it even if there's nothing to select. Now we have another potential merge on Jeanette. So I'm going to start the merge there. And now it's showing me all of these other merges in nearby. So you just click, you keep clicking on this, merging here. You have Roseanne and Roseanne, same parents, right? Same ex-wife, everything's the same on these. When there's something different, it'll highlight it and tell you. But as long as they're the same, it's pretty easy just to merge them together. And you can see that we're adding some information. This person has a birth date, this person doesn't have a birth date. But when we merge them together, all the information gets added together. Now on any profile, if there's a conflict between the data after a merge, it'll create a, a data conflict, which you can see in your merge center on Genie. Here someone has a, a picture, this person doesn't, but this person has